Hi guys, it's Sophie. So I'm just having a quick chat today in the rainy, rainy little conservatory bit. So if you can hear the rain, hopefully it's a nice sound rather than an annoying sound. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I'm planning on reading um, over the next week. So I have the next um, like full week off of work and I've come to spend it on Exmoor, which is really lovely. Um, and I've brought a shit ton of books with me. So I'm definitely not going to get to read all of these. It's more of like a, these are loads of options and I can just choose how I feel. Um, it's been a really long time since I did a TBR because of the fact like Round the World is just prescriptive, I the whole year is a TBR. It's a bit strange to like choose the books I'm going to read, um, but I'm going to show you them, I'm not going to chat too much about what they are about because I spoke about quite a few of them in my last haul video, um, but I thought it could be interesting just to see them. So one I'm definitely going to be getting to this week is The World Goes On um, by Lesno Krasner Horsco. Um, this is, I think, one long, I don't know, is it, yeah, narrate, one single narrator through, uh, I think, 24 stories. Um, I've really enjoyed his work that I've read so far, and just really looking forward to picking it up. Um, the other one I read in, like, three hours, um, and it was a little bit longer than this, um, but probably, like, 200 pages. This is, like, 250 pages, so I'm hoping this is going to be, like, a one-day read. Um, and, yeah, I'm just excited to get to it and start reading more of him. Um, I'm definitely hoping to really like it and keep... Um, on reading him and, and have him as an author that I pick up fairly regularly, so yes, we'll see what I think to it anyway. I have the Iliac Crest, uh, this one which I'm hoping to finish in a day, it's only a tiny little short one, and it has quite a lot of like my kind of page breaks and spacing and stuff, um, so I'm really hopeful for this one, I think it sounds great. And the next three are ones I'll choose between. Um, so I have The Ministry of Pain, I'm a little bit of the way through but around the world. I was really liking it and I would like to try and finish this one if I can. Um, but there are two others I have that I'd also quite like to read. So um, I've already got these two that I'm going to try and read in the days and probably one of the three of these I'll finish. Um, but I don't know that I'll get to all of them. I might start some, put some down. Anyway, The Ministry of Pain is one of those um, that I think I will have a shot at but we'll see. The next one is The Shadow of the Wind, um, which I thought was going to be a really heavy read because it's quite long, but apparently it's quite fast paced, um, so I might might get this one done. Um, and, and the other one is um, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, so it's kind of between these last three, um, The Ministry of Pain, Shadow of the Wind, and A Tree Grows in Brooklyn that I'm going to have a shot at, but I don't think I'm going to get a chance to read all of that. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'm not sure quite how much reading I'm going to get done, but um, of the fiction, that's my choice, is the Iliad Crest and The World Goes On and my priorities, and then I would choose one or maybe two of these. And then non-fiction-wise, I really would like to get to both of these. Um, the first one is A Woman Looking at Men Looking at Women um, essay collection that I'm absolutely adoring. I've only got 68 pages in so far, um, but I feel like there's quite a lot of notes at the back. Yeah, it's a 500-page book. Um, well nearly a 600 page book but like 100 pages of it are notes um, so yes I'm loving it I'm desperate to finish this one I'm going to read some of this later on today um, I think she's absolutely fab um, so yeah this is definitely on my pile to finish in this week and I would like to make significant headway into this one even if I don't finish it and that is The Matter of the Heart uh, by Thomas Morris um, I think I'm going to really get along with this I'm, I'm really excited to start this one um, it's just my kind of medical non-fiction and I think it's going to be fascinating we're going to learn loads um, so, so this is one I'd really want to get to and start at least if I can't finish it um, so the ones I'm aiming to most definitely finish in my time here are these four here. Um, the, the other three are, we'll see how I get on. Um, but I do actually have some other options as well of some shorter things to pick up in between. Um, so I was given some book vouchers uh, for my birthday and uh, when I saw that these had come out I thought I would grab myself a little stack. Um, so if you haven't seen them on people's channel already, these are the Penguin Modern Classics um, that they've done, the one, pe one pound ones, um, with some really great like authors, some of which I've read, some I haven't. Um, I'll just go through what I've got because they are all like 50 pages, which is great. Um, so I have The Survivor by Primo and Levy. The Missing Girl by Shirley Jackson, Till September Petronolia by Jean Rhys, The Breakthrough by Daphne du Maurier, Valance by Vladimir Bulkov, The Black Ball by Ralph Ellison, and finally The Distance to the Moon by Talo Carvino. Um, so I could very easily skim my way through these, but I think what I'm going to do is um, read one of these between each of the big books I finish, um, and the rest um, will just come back with me and I'll read another time. Um, but there's lots I've got, like it's a massive pile of uncurring, I'm like, ah. Um, but I'm really excited for a lot of them, most of them, all of them, um, and I think I think 
the stack I've got my four of like really want to read um, is going to be a really good little selection, lots of different things like really short stories, novel, like uh, lit fit novel, essay collections and standard non-fiction. I think that feels like a really solid base of reading for a week um, and then I've got three novels and lots, seven? Seven tiny classics I can dip in and out of as well. Um, yeah, so tell me what you're reading this week and this kind of slightly rainy March. Um, how are you getting on with your reading? Do you like to mix up fiction, non-fiction, essays, short stories, poetry? I didn't got any poetry with me. Oh, no, I have Prima Levy's in this poetry collection. Um, how do you like doing that? Or are you very much a like, one genre, one book kind of person? Um, yeah, it'd be lovely to chat to you in the comments. I'm going to be filming um, at least two videos um, this week and next week. So there'll be a little bit more of me than there has been the last few weeks, um, which I'm really looking forward to. I miss filming. So um, yes, I will chat to you guys soon. Look after yourselves until then. Bye-bye.